You know, I've got a video fight. of Hornswoggle taking you down. You know the video. Nah. <laughs> well, and I'm, if, a, I'm, he's I'm, I'm, I'm down, if he's taking me down, how far did I really have to go to begin with? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, what did I fall? A couple inches? Am I offending anybody? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You put a sign up that was too short, tall for a hornswoggle to read. And in the production office, so you you were mean to him. I would have loved. It. Tell us he about that. Like I, that's, that. That sign was great. I, I don't know. I know. I'm pretty sure you didn't come up with that. But who come up with that? You know, it's like a Disneyland sign. You got to be this this tall to go go. Chibble, <laughs> <laughs> that's mean. Yeah, whatever. He, there was one time when we were at the same hotel and he comes, I knew he was coming to my room. So he knocks on the door. Right. So I open the door and I'm looking and I'm like, who the hell's knocking on the door? And I slam the door in his face. <laughs> he's got so hot about that, but he's a good kid. I love him, man. He was the best is the best, whatever. Did, he never did anything to you when he was at ringside, did he, when he was under the ring? Oh, he always did shit. He would, you know, when the mic would be there, he'd always, like, pull the mic cord. So I, I'm sitting there, I had the mic by the bell, and next thing I know, I see the freaking microphone, like, slowly going towards the underneath the ring. And I'm like, jeez, if this match is over soon, which, believe me, I always hoped the match was over soon, uh, I'm like, <laughs> I need the microphone to announce the winner. <laughs> And he would start pulling on it. Then I have to put my foot on it. And he would do all that gaga. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs>